I'm Maria from LBV TV and we're ready to get the party started. We're here for an awesome time with some awesome music and an awesome new ride here at Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind that has just opened for previews here at Epcot. We love here at LBV TV showing you the hidden gems of the parks and this is truly a once in a lifetime moment. Are you guys ready for the most rocking queue in all of Disney? Wait till you see their version of the experimental prototype of tomorrow. How incredible, all of how the city is built, how they live underwater, some of them, how they have their different arts and clothes, they have their own little Epcots. It's so amazing. And we got to have it all to ourselves again for an hour and a half. How amazing is that? So you're gonna get to see up close all the neat things in that queue you probably not get to see because there's always gonna be lines in there. It's always gonna be busy. This is a once in a lifetime chance and let's just say, Get ready to watch me run in circles all over that whole amazing queue. And you know we love giving away stuff here at LBV, so let's give away something from shoplbv.com. Our Guardians of the Galaxy record shirt. There are so many amazing homages to this in that queue. You ready? You ready? All right, get your tunes on. Let's go. All right, so we're riding it a second time, and nobody's around, so we might get a more intimate view. Here we go. The wonders of Xandar. From our world to yours. Guys, we have our own queue. Nobody's here. Or multiverses we might find. Oh. We invite you to discover more of our connected story as you journey through our wonders of Xandar. I am Worldmind. Welcome. <laughs> This is cool. Guys, this is one of the few times you're gonna get to see this with nobody on it. How epic is this? Nobody on this. Sadly, never happen again. A whole queue to ourselves. Oh, I'm gonna miss this. I'm gonna miss this Ashlyn over there. gathered all of the minds of Xandarians and knowledge and holds it all together in there and she speaks to you while you are waiting in the queue here. You see also different planets. Earlier we saw the Milky Way. We saw, and you'll see more of that. Uh, we saw different planets. They showed us the sun. Check that thing right there. Looks ominous. More like a giant cookie. Maybe that just means I'm hungry. How cool. Uh oh. Oh. I see we have new visitors. Hi. Welcome to Thank Earth. you. I am Worldwide. Sentient supercomputer serving the people of Zendar. My data is comprised of the experiences learnings and histories of the Nova Corps and the population of Zendar. Our beautiful planet Xandar is known for many things, but perhaps most renowned for our technological advancements. From artificial intelligence to intergalactic travel, Xandar stands at the forefront of innovation. Now sometimes Worldmind plays songs. 
That's right. Sometimes she'll play like hooked on feeling. She's like, I heard that is a great way to learn American culture. throughout the galaxy is our universal neural teleportation network. Oh, that's how we're going in space. Artificial wormholes in the space-time continuum, which we call jump points. Jump points allow for ultra-rapid space travel. What Peter Quill describes as one heck of a ride through space in the time it takes for me to play one tune on my mixtape. You Terrans might also find it fantastical that our planet Xandar can orbit three suns. But did you know that your scientists discovered a planet with three suns in your own galaxy? No. Your scientists named this planet HD 13199AB, which Peter Quill said is a terrible name for a planet. <laughs> he said that you Terrans should have called it. Something cool like Mars, but you know, that hasn't already been taken. I am still trying to decipher exactly how a name makes a planet's temperature cooler. Oh, you may yeah. wonder what it is like to live <laughs> on a planet with three suns. Observe. For much of the year, our suns appear close together in the sky giving it a familiar Terran night and day cycle, yet with a unique triple sunset and sunrise each day. As our planet continues along its orbit, the suns grow further apart until they reach a point where the setting of one coincides with the rising of another. Xandar is in near constant daytime. Is that not wondrous? There are so many wonders in our universe. You will discover more of them as you continue your visit here in the wonders of Xandar. We welcome you, Terrans. Again, the flying's gonna be back. That was all. I get to have my own party. I'm never gonna get to do this again. I'm never gonna get to do this again. I'm never gonna get to do this again. <laughs> we again. Yay! There's nobody in the line. <laughs> this will never happen ever at Disney ever again. <laughs> Ash, are you embarrassed by me? Nobody's here. It's okay. Again, when am I going to have my own queue with Ashlyn? How cool is this? We've just been hanging out in here. <laughs> Nobody's here! Nobody's here! The whole ride to ourselves. Oh, I see. Oh, that's the Nova Corps in the shape of their, I guess, home? I didn't realize that's the shape of their, their planet as well. In the land. How cool! Which grace our coastline. How awesome. Colorful. How cool is this? Now, as you was telling me, you can actually buy these. Uh, I joked at Ikea. Um, but a lot of the things in the Galactic Star Cruise are also can be purchased. Um, they're regular items that exist in regular life and different companies. How neat. Again, when are we gonna get our own empty queue? How neat. All right guys, because we have the whole 
full queue to ourselves, which is even crazier because I don't even think the media preview got to do that. We're gonna show you in depth some of the cool things. From Walt Disney himself being in here, it's famous vintage Epcot rides that are no longer here, like the Kitchen Cabaret has its own shout out, Maelstrom, Ellen's Universe of Energy, so many cool things in the queue, as well as the story of the Zandarians, how they got here, and so many more things you're not gonna see anywhere else. So make sure to video bump that like button right now, enjoy all these cool things. I'm so excited, this is epic. All right, so we're walking into the queue that we have all to ourselves. And Ashlyn told me this is where a lot of the coolest stuff is gonna be. Walt Disney himself is gonna show up. Let's see. Uh, it's a Xandar Tower. Ooh, the penthouse over there, okay. Each zone contains a Roma Civic Center, entertainment and cultural offerings, merchant shops, dining, educational Oh, it's like its own Epcot. Zones, transportation networks, and more. All designed to provide our citizens with a better way of life. The experimental prototype of tomorrow? Through the years, new citizens brought them new materials and building techniques that accelerated the diversification of how cool. Now, guys, this is really special. If you're watching right now, make sure to like and subscribe because. Again, never a dull moment. I don't think even the media preview got to just sit here with their own empty ride. This is so cool. We're just standing here checking it all out. We're waiting for some hidden gems throughout the ride, like Walt Disney himself, who's gonna pop up. I wonder what they're gonna say about him. Let's see. Like your planet, Terra, Zendar is dependent upon water for life. Oh, they're like us. Oh, it says a maelstrom. I see a an Epcot throwback. Guys, who remembers that ride? Type in the comments if you are a fan of that epic ride. You know what I'm talking about, maelstrom. Live, work, and play. 
How amazing. So I was right, as we started this, I talked about how it was like their own experimental prototype of tomorrow. And I love the throwback to the, the ride, to Walt Disney and Epcot and more. So here it says, Xander is home to more than 12 billion citizens who come here from all corners of the Andromeda Galaxy to enjoy your advanced quality of life and cultural vibrancy. Look at Over that. the course of our year, Xandar wow. experiences periods of total sunlight shifting to periods of total darkness. During the light cycle, our true suns appear close together in the sky, creating spectacular sunsets and sunrises. The light casts moving shadows across the city, something Xandar is famous for. As the capital of the Nova Empire, Xandar is home to over 12 billion citizens. Constructed on a vast system of atolls, our city features a wide array of architectural styles, inspired by the many cultures and species who have traveled across the galaxy to call Xandar home. Is that their soccer stadium? That's what it looks like. And then they have their own little Epcot. Check this out. Xandar's urban core is home to some of our most unique residences. Many Xandarians prefer living high above the sea with dramatic panoramic views. Ooh. Others choose our underwater homes. Oh, you can live underwater. Look at that. You can live underwater. Okay, I think I would. Type in the comments, would you live underwater? Xandar's I would live underwater. It's pretty cool. Whose goal is to make um. So that's the headquarters of the Nova Corps. And how cool is this? Our import-export centers facilitate the trade of vast quantities of goods from all corners of the Andromeda Galaxy and beyond. And guys, make sure to hit that like button because again, we have the whole place to ourselves. It is never a dull moment here in Disney. Thousands of ships arriving and departing daily. Highly efficient, these spaceports also connect to a system of underwater hydro bays linking to other transportation networks. Our spaceports are constantly evolving to handle the growing needs of both our civilian and overboard fleets. When it comes to feeding our population, our vast agricultural farms are a true wonder. With three suns, our land-based habitats are capable of producing immense quantities and varieties of fresh food to feed our diverse population. At sea, our oceans glow with algae farms within the atoll, producing thousands of species of aquatic life. Of note is the delicious Zandarian snail, a delicacy we hope you might try one day. As you might imagine, our energy needs are vast. Our ocean maelstroms, which power our electrical grids, are the main source of energy for the planet. But Xandar also creates energy locally from a variety of sources. These include tri solar cells and sails on structures, biofuels in our waterways, and algae clusters scattered throughout the city. Two giant dams bridge our main canal and generate hydropower from the factories and technology centers. Even our citizens generate energy as they travel across oh, inverse look at their roadways citizens. and pedestrian paths. Oh, how cool! Getting around Zandar couldn't be easy. Oh yeah, how do you get around? Our solar trains run day and night. Oh, look like a monorail! Supply of light. Oh, that's Multiple cool. Multiple stations throughout the city take Zandarians everywhere they need to go. They have their own monorail system. Zandarians also travel by water. And look, Hidden Mickey. Our city book. Okay, let us know if you see the Hidden Mickey guys right there. Our cultural and art centers are renowned throughout the galaxy. Our Xandar offers a variety of entertainment that reflects our diverse population. Our famous Galaxarians, where Xandarians go to learn about our history and culture. Oh, it looks like Epcot. the Galaxarium we brought here for the wonders of Xandar at Epcot. Oh, that's so cool. Chicken 
students here that education is paramount to all Zandarians, as evidenced by our numerous knowledge centers. They attract students from Andromeda and beyond, looking for a stellar education. We are proud of our foundational learning, and teachers are highly respected on our planet. On Xandar, we are never far removed from the natural world, and caring for the environment is one of our core principles. Our lush, exotic gardens are the envy of the galaxy. Xandar features an unparalleled collection of arboretums and recreational areas for all to enjoy. Our biomes feature rare species of flora from across the galaxy, such as Hygnora and Lithops from the Sovereign Planet. One day, we'd love to feature some specimens from your planet Terra. Our advanced building materials allow Xandar to build some of the most remarkable structures oh, wow. in the universe, creating an impressive urban skyline. Over the course of our year, Xandar experiences periods of total sunlight, shifting to periods of total darkness. How amazing is all of this? Cycle, our triple suns appear close together in the sky creating spectacular sunsets and sunrises. The light casts moving shadows across the city, something Xandar is famous for. As the capital of the Nova Empire, Xandar is home to over 12 billion citizens. Constructed on a vast system of atolls, our city features a wide array of architectural styles inspired by the many cultures and species who have traveled across the galaxy to call Xandar home. So as we have our own queue, check out the ship. Oh my goodness. So the Star Blaster is the flagship short-range aerial patrol and combat ship of the Nova Corp. Its star-shaped profile is reminiscent of our Nova Corp's emblem and serves to optimize the ship's thruster array for speed and maneuverability. Okay, so if you want to win a Guardians of the Galaxy shirt, again, let us know in the comments what would you want as your favorite song to be on Awesome Mix. It could be an oldie but a goodie, something from this era, anything from Peter Quill's Awesome Mix. Or excuse me, Star Lords. Star Lords. So these are the different outfits of the different levels of the Nova Corp. So we have Peacekeeping Force of the Corpsmen, the Denarian, Millennium. Oh, Millennial! They got their Millennials even in the Nova Corps. Centurion and Nova Prime. So the different ranks of the officers. How cool! Again, this reminds me a lot, kind of, of the Galactic Star Cruiser. Ashwin, would you agree? It's got like galactic star cruiser vibe. Understandably too, because you're in space. So I think, you know, they probably talk. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. What is that? Xandar was newly Is that oh is that Peter Quill who chose not to honor our peace treaty? I don't even know. Without the Nova Corps forces That's cool. and the usual allies like the Ravagers and the Guardians of the Oh, Galaxy, the Ravagers are the allies. That's correct. It's not often one gets to interview the most dangerous woman in the galaxy. Welcome, Gamora. Wait, who called me that? Peter Quill. You mean Star Wars? Oh, I was told he hates that name. Oh, yeah, he does. He really hates it. So how did you Guardians end up teaming up with the Ravagers? They normally only work for themselves. Well, uh... You know, we liked them. And was that part of Peter Quill's plan? You mean the plan that didn't go according to plan? We were completely outnumbered. In the end, though, we were able to defeat the Rogue Kree. But we couldn't have done it without Quill. That's right! And here he is now, Peter Quill. What hey. do you have to say about this? Um, you know, I guess, I mean, it, it was really a group effort to execute my plan. Thank you, Gamora. <laughs> I only said it because you told me to. Okay. I would love to hear more about how Terra was chosen for this Wonders of Xandar tour. Well, that was totally my idea. And Epcot, too, because I love that place. It's awesome. <laughs> I went there as a kid, and yes. I, I, I mean, I cannot wait to get to go back and ride Horizons. Also, want to see the energy 
dinosaurs, and of course, it's not here anymore. Here, the veggie veggie fruit fruit. Yeah, uh, it's the best. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sure it will be wonderful for you to relive all of those memories again. And it's thanks to the Guardians that Xandar is reaching out to other cultures across the galaxy. So cool! Oh, that's so cool! Kia Quill, thank you for joining me today. The leader of your group was telling me about the plan to save Xandar from the Rogue Tree. Quick, well, did you say the leader? I, I'm the leader. Wait, who said that? Yeah, it was Rocket. Uh -huh. Well, don't believe anything Rocket says. But he said it was your plan. Well, okay. You can believe that. It was 12% of a Maybe. Well, come on, introduce yourself. Have you forgotten who I am? This is not other than Trax the Destroyer. See? It's Shield's wife. Anyways, I dance circles around the Creed dude. It's all we said today. Oh, you're a weird and embarrassing dance display. It was a means of distraction so that Rocket could destroy the Creed. Thank you, Trax, for setting the record straight for our viewers. You're welcome. Courage, Peter Quill. To flail around like a total fool to help save the day. Okay, so you're not really making it sound as intense. I'm Let's sure do this, it was Peter. Very intense. Come on, Peter. We'll learn more about just Thank how intense and dangerous it was in just a moment. Oh, I want to dance with you. Please, let's flail around. Flail around. Distract them. I can do it. I can do it. Guardian knows how you gave your life to save the rest of the Guardians that day of the battle. Tell us in your own words how that felt. I am you know what you call a vocabulary? What he's trying to say is he did sacrifice himself to save us all and Zandar. Fortunately, he's plant based, so he grew him back. And they grow up so fast, especially when you water them. It would appear so. So, back to my original question whose idea was it to save Zandar? It was Quill's. We had this half baked plan, and we saved his butt and his story. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Okay, it was three quarters spent. But we were all in the second. I'm Brutes. I'll be back with more of the Guardians in a moment. Good TV show. I like it. It's oh, the famous Groot. <laughs> Every Zendar again knows how you gave your life to see the rest cute. of the Guardians that day in battle. Tell us in your own You're my favorite trash panda. You gotta forgive him. He's not what you call a limited vocabulary. What he's trying to say is, I did sacrifice myself for to save us all. He and did. Unfortunately, he's plant based. So we can run back. And they grow up so fast. Especially when you water them. It would appear so. I really wish I just had to answer the question. Who was it to save Santa? So forgive him. It's fine, go. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Half baked plants. We saved his butt and his story. Okay. Hey, you tell him, Drew. You tell him. Well, we were all you tell him what's up. <laughs> Greetings, Terrans. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayan, commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years, assuming you had a ship that could fly at the speed of light an advanced piece of Xandarian technology that creates jump points, artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts, linking distant points in space. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people so that together we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. And now, as the culmination of the wonders of Xandar, you will be teleported to a Nova ship above your planet for a demonstration of the Cosmic Generator. I trust you will find it an unforgettable experience.
up, boy. This plane is never gonna work. Rock it! Well? Okay, I'm locked onto your vehicle. We'll be right behind you. Nothing to worry about. Unless we cannot stop this unusually large man. Then you're likely to go. Holder previews and cast previews. They, that's why they do it with with pass holders because we're uh, less likely to complain. <laughs> A fair warning: if you guys see Terry Crews as you're launching, something's gone wrong. Oh, what's gonna happen? Please remain seated. Your starter will begin motion immediately. Oh, oh, we're going. Woo! We're going.
you really think they deserve to be called heroes? But do you see how they dress? It's just a figure of speech, Drax. Uh, we're lying to them. Now I understand. <laughs> incredible was that cue and of course the ride everything they thought of my favorite part was seeing Walt Disney on the screen hearing Peter Quill uh, you know talk about his fun time at Epcot he can't wait to come back and ride the rides that no longer exist again I especially loved hearing um, all about their version of their planet and the incredible uh, world of tomorrow that could exist that we got to see type in the comments your favorite vintage Disney ride one that's been here since the beginning or is no longer here let us know let's see who's the winner wow I again I couldn't ride the ride due to my health issues uh, but I would do that over and over again just to see the queue I'm so glad we were able to show you that in such an amazing way Wow so make sure to subscribe hit that like button and the notifications bell because you won't want to miss all the cool things to come it's definitely gonna be out of this world get it so as Mickey or Walt would say see you real soon